few weeks ago I released a new song called Here and Now and I pushed it to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, you know, all the places where you can listen to music. And a few days after that, I was just walking through my house, sitting down on my couch and mindlessly browsing through my phone. And I decided to open up the Apple Music Artist app. And then something strange happened. Something that hasn't happened before. Something that I didn't expect it. A whole bunch of people shazam my song. And I think the reason why so many people were that interested in the song that they immediately shazammed it is that I've used Foley sound effects right in the intro of the song. Let me show you. So this is the project file of here now and let me play you the intro. So as you can hear, it's this very cool Irish fiddle melody and I've added a crowd sound effect and a crowd clapping effect. So let me solo these real quick. So we've got the crowd right here. It's just people cheering, you don't even understand what they are saying, but you can hear that there are a bunch of people and it sounds like like crowded a crowded place a, a party basically and then we've got the crowd clapping which is slowly fading in so that's just a bunch of people clapping at once and i looped it so it's on the beat and if you put them together you've got this crowd and that is uh, slowly starting to clap Now if I play you the intro without the sound effects, it sounds like this. I mean it sounds still cool, it's still a cool melody and the theme, this fiddle and all of that i think it's pretty cool um but there was something missing when i now add the sound effects in there now it's sounding like a house party at the weasleys wicked these kind of sound effects are called Foley and they are mostly used in movies, TV productions, video games or audiobooks to create a realistic sounding atmosphere for a story. But they can also be used for songs, like I just showed you, I've used it and I think it gives the song a whole different character than without it. And there are some famous examples as well, so think about Thriller from Michael Jackson. The intro just starts like a movie. You have this dark atmosphere, like in a horror movie. And you've got a wolf howling somewhere in the distance before the final song starts. Or think a few years back when Knife Party dropped their song Internet Friends. Sure, it was great, but it got so much attention because of that disturbing robotic voice and the frightening atmosphere that is leading up to the drop. You can hear steps, someone knocking on the door, tapping on a smartphone, and the typical iPhone ringtone, and breaking glass, and of course... Now you're going to die. I recently saw a video of Phineas, Billy Irish older brother, who's also producing all of her songs. And he was showing all the project files and how he made the songs. And what struck me the most was how creatively he is using sound effects that he is recording himself and turning those into samples that he uses in his songs. That's another way how you can incorporate Foley sound effects into your production. You don't have to build up a whole landscape of sound effects. You can also take something like lighting a match and 
use that as a snare, for example. That's something that Phineas did for one of Billie Eilish's songs. And I think that's super creative and it's something that I want to do more of in the future because that is something that is setting your songs apart from every other song because you've recorded it and it's not just a sample from a sample pack that everyone else is using. So I would definitely recommend to do that and also check out Phineas' video. I will link it in the description below. And if you can't record the samples yourself, there are plenty of free sample packs out there, of course, that you can search for. But I would recommend a website called freesound.org. I'm using this for, I don't know, eight years now. And everything you can find there is free to use. So you don't have to worry about copyright or anything. Whenever I needed a sound effect, I always found one on sound, uh, freesound.org. All right. Thanks, I hope that was somewhat inspiring for you and you will now go out and use all the cool sound effects that you can find to build a unique and creative track. And if you do, please share a link down in the description. I would really like to hear some. And if you want to hear my song here and now or some of my other songs that will also incorporate sound effects in the future, I will link my Spotify page in my Apple Music Artist page in the description and I'm always happy to get some feedback. Oh, by the way, while I was thinking about all these sound effects, I had a flashback to 2011 when I was an intern at a radio station. And at a radio station you have to do everything with audio, of course, because you have no visuals. So my job was to provide sound effects for these shows so they can just spice up their stories. The one day I got a call. yo. We have this thing tomorrow um, and we need a sound effect from a dog eating a bird. And I was like, what? What kind of story is that? Doesn't matter. Can I do it in two hours? Because we really want to test it before we put it into the program. Yeah, sure thing. I will create you a sound effect of a dog eating a bird. I'm a good intern. And that's what I did. Yeah, that was one sound effect that I couldn't find on freesound.org. So I had to do it myself. And it was basically a layer of a dog barking, a dog growling, and a bird flapping its wings and just tweeting. And me just really intensively chewing and just layering it all on top of each other. And it worked. And that's what you have to do when you're an intern at a radio station. All right, thanks for hanging around and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.